Welcome everybody to SummerSlam. We are going to start it off with a big United States Championship match. And here comes the challenger. Braun Strowman taking on the champion, Tommaso Ciampa. I hope everybody's taking care of themselves and their families in this hard time. Be safe out there. But anyways, let's get rolling with the SummerSlam pay-per-view. Strowman heading down to the ring, been tormenting Ciampa for months now. And now he awaits the United States Champion. Tommaso Ciampa won the United States Championship from John Cena back at Backlash three months ago. Defeated Cena in an open challenge. Then he defended against Chad Gable. Then he defended against Keith Lee. Also has a title defense against Grand Metalik. And he defeated Seth Rollins while Seth Rollins was the Universal Champion. Undefeated so far. But our main event tonight, don't forget, six-man elimination chamber match for the WWE Championship. Joe, Cole, KO, Roman, Bryan, and Roderick Strong. Champa is 5-0 since coming up to the main roster. Absolutely running through anybody that stepped in his way. Will not be an easy task tonight while the monster among men will also have his hands full. Massive size difference as usual for Strowman's advantage. And we are set to kick it off here at SummerSlam. Strowman walking towards Champa goes and dodges. Champa three kicks to the back of that hamstring and a drop kick doesn't do anything to Strowman. Strowman kicks down to the midsection. And oh my, just holding him up. The strength of Braun Strowman. Boom. Champa is down just like that. He's got to chop at this tree. See what he can do to take it down. And now Strowman throwing Champa into the corner. Goes for a big splash elbow from Champa. Champa, oh man, goes to take down Strowman. But, ah, Strowman counters again. Braun Strowman is a massive human being. And Champa cannot get him down. Now Braun has Champa up on his shoulders. Ooh, right to the side, the ribs of Tommaso. Another kick down to the midsection. This time Strowman might be looking for a power bomb. Taking his time and Champa counters. Tommaso three punches to the head. And right back into a big clothesline. Massive takedown. Strowman going for the pinfall attempt. Not even a one count. The champion will not go down easily. Punch right up top from Tommaso. Headbutt back from Strowman. Ooh, oh, there you go. Strowman down. Strowman down, but just rolls right through. Rolls right through. Misses with a clothesline wildly. Goes down and out vertical suplex from Strowman. Again, Champ is undefeated. Ooh, went for a knee strike. Knee strike, and now Strowman just tossing Tommaso. Ooh, into the corner now. These shot to the midsection. One to the face and tossing him across the ring. My goodness. The strength this man possesses is uncanny. Champ has got his hands full. He's defeated John Cena and Seth Rollins, but he hasn't fought anybody this big. He did fight Keith Lee and was successful. Braun now, tossing the champion outside the ring.
Dangerous territory, but now Champa counters it. Referee at a two count. Champa with solid blows, and now Strowman's down on the outside. Oh, he's right back up. Right back up from Braun. Double under hook, and now just holding him up. All the blood rushing to the head of Tommaso, and then down. Back first into the ground. Strowman at a five count, gets back into the ring, can't win by count out. Six count now. And Braun breaks up the count, gets back outside the ring. Strowman throws Champa right into the barricade. Oh no, wait a minute here. Wait a minute, oh my God, Strowman! Drives Champa through the barricade. Oh my. Lifts him up and just drives him straight through the barricade. Ooh, the back of Champa. Oh my. And Braun Strowman could have it won if he can get Champa back into the ring. He could be the United States champion just like that. Oh, Champa counters. Champa counters, big blow to the back. Big Lariat takes the big man down. Shot right back. And both men getting back into the ring at eight. Breaking up that 10 count. And Strowman just, oh, oh my goodness. Champa got hung up on that second rope. Strowman lifted him up in the air. And that might do it. Tommaso Ciampa could lose his United States Championship. No, Strowman couldn't get the job done there. And Ciampa's back to his feet. And now a solid right hand. But no, Ciampa's got him up. Ciampa's got him up on the shoulders. Face first on the canvas. Face first from Ciampa to Strowman. And now a reversal from Braun. Easy peasy for the big man. Champa can't get away. Champa can't get away. Drop kick down low. Drop kick down low. That'll hurt. That'll take him down for a second. And now what a German suplex from Tommaso Champa. He's going for two. Yes. Can he hit the trifecta on the massive Strowman? He does. Beautiful from the champion. Strowman rolls, Prawn rolls out to the apron and out Champa. Solid blow to the face. Looking, f oh, boom, draping DDT. The neck of Strowman. His head hit and the neck went sideways. Oh, and he's going for, going for the submission move. Champa going for the submission. Can he get it? Can he get the win right here? Can he make Braun tap? And Braun's getting back to his feet, though. And, oh, no, Champa lands on his feet. Oh, and Strowman right back to it. Up on the shoulder face first into the canvas. Looking to become the United States champion. And looking for the power slam. And boom. Braun Strowman hits the power slam. Running power slam. And just like that, we have a new United States champion. Braun Strowman. Heck of a valiant effort from the champion, the former champion now. I don't I thought Champa could have had it. Went for the submission move, but I mean he got absolutely plowed. Oh, right there. Through the barricade. And the running power slam to the back. Just like that. Braun Strowman hits. The running power slam gets the three count. And we have a new United States champion right now to start off SummerSlam. We have... Nine matches on the card tonight, eight more following this. Undisputed Era's Cole and Strong backstage. Both men in that Illumination Chamber match.
They're on the same page. O'Reilly and Fish. Tag Team Championship match up next. We got The Fiend and Cena coming up tonight as well. And right now, Undisputed Era, Fish and O'Reilly taking on AOP for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Fish and O'Reilly heading out. They're two stablemates backstage talking strategy. They could hold three titles at the end of the night. If Fish and O'Reilly can defeat AOP, and either Cole or Strong can outlast the other competitors in that Elimination Chamber match, we could have three titles in the Undisputed Era just like that. Now these two members of the Undisputed Era fought AOP a few weeks back. Fish was attacked backstage right before, his, before the matchup. It was the number one contendership match for Money in the Bank against the Usos. Fish was attacked and he still decided to compete and AOP picked up the win and then defeated the Usos at Money in the Bank. And now we're here at SummerSlam. And the era earned their shot on the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. But these guys have run over the Tag Team Division. And now that we're bringing out a Raw Tag Team Championships, it was on Raw and SmackDown. But now we're splitting it up. We're going to have about 10 teams on Raw and 10 teams on SmackDown competing for their separate titles. AOP was the overall tag team champions. But now we announce the Dusty Classic. Eight teams on Raw will compete to become the tag team champions over there. Mustache Mountain, one of those teams debuting DIY. Now that we, now that Champa had lost the United States Championship, he may focus hard on the tag division as him and Johnny Gargano are set to debut DIY on the main roster. New Day in there as well, OC Viking Raiders, The Bar, Mysterio and Metalik, a new tag team that just formed, and the Hardy Boys. Coming back, they're actually taking on DIY in the first round. Should be a hell of a tournament. But AOP set to defend those SmackDown Tag Team Championships against Fish and O'Reilly. Akam, Razar, Fish, O'Reilly. Should be a great tag team match as O'Reilly and Razar are starting. O'Reilly goes right at him. <laughs> Just tosses him to the side. Ooh, oh, man. Went for the clubbing blow to the back. Plus the knee to the face. Mm, Clothesline Lariat taken down O'Reilly. Absolutely dominant so far. And he throws him into his partner's corner. And tells Fish to tag in. So now Fish tags himself in. And oh, he turned his back on him. Turned his back on him. Oh, he was taunting. Turns back on him. Is that it? One, two. No, not even a two count. But oh my, could have been a massive mistake as Fish tries to take him down and he doesn't even budge. Doesn't budge much at all. And now overhead belly to belly suplex. AOP dominant so far as the tag team champions. And just tossing Fish around. Bobby Fish is a well-decorated wrestler. And he's just getting pummeled right now. Tag is made. As AOP looking to show off some tag team offense. Beautiful move. And going for the pinfall. 
Early pinfall attempt here. One, not, no, not two, just a one. And Aker now on top of Fish. Looking to toss him around. These two behemoths. My goodness, just throwing the undisputed air around. Now tosses Fish into his corner. Tells O'Reilly to tag in. O'Reilly's now coming in. Aikum and O'Reilly. O'Reilly suplex there. A little bit of offense for the air. Now just taking over. O'Reilly, an amazing striker. Great submission specialist as well. Great mat worker. He's just a great overall wrestler. He's got a little bit of everything. And is now putting off on this unique offense. Stretching out the arms and the shoulders of Akam. Going for a pinfall attempt, but no, doesn't even get one. If the air can win this. Oh, we're looking to break the arm. Looking for the arm bar. Here he goes. O'Reilly looking to end it. Can Akam get out of it? And yes, Akam does get out. Look at the power through. Three solid right hands to the face of O'Reilly. Both men back to their feet now. Clothesline takes O'Reilly down. Ooh, kick to the back. Tag is made by AOP. But the era, Cole and Strong. Whenever they got called up, you expect Adam Cole to be the guy to be the first one to win a major championship on the main roster. But actually, Roderick Strong defeated Roman Reigns straight up clean on an episode of SmackDown to win the WWE Championship from him after Roman had had a dominant reign. And Roman was ticked, obviously. And then Kevin Owens ended up defeating Strong with the help of of Roman Reigns back at money in the bank as Rizar is now just dominating Kyle O'Reilly. Where's he going? Where's he going? He's going to the top rope. This big man at the top of the big elbow to the back. That'll hurt for days, weeks, months, maybe years. One, two, and oh, Fish breaks it up. That could have been it. Could have been it. Fish broke it up. Last second. And Mazar's now in his face. He's bringing it back into the ring. Bringing Fish back in the hard way. O'Reilly's the legal man. But Mazar, oh no, Fish counter. Fish counter. And he's not going to go down lightly. Oh man, right to the gut. And O'Reilly going for the pinfall. Going for the pinfall attempt. And Rizar gets out of it at two. Fish was not taking that too kindly. Ooh. O'Reilly working on the arm again. Amazing technical wrestler. Knee right to the right to the ribs, right to the back of Rizar. Now into his corner. The referee gets knocked down inadvertently. And now double team here from Fish and O'Reilly. Nice double team suplex. Bobby Fish looking for a pinfall attempt. And no, two count again. Fish and Bizarre, two legal men here. Nice German suplex from Bobby Fish. Fish has had a lot of issues getting injured, mainly his knee, over the last couple of years. And it's good to see him back healthy and they can compete here. And another suplex on the outside. We get AOP, are the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, undefeated since. Coming on to SmackDown, they actually defeated a few weeks back. They defeated Kevin Owens, the current WWE Champion, who at the time was not the WWE Champion. 
and Andrade, who is the current Intercontinental Champion, defeated them in a tag team match, although Kevin Owens bailed on Andrade. Andrade went to make the tag. KO jumped off the apron and left. Andrade ended up getting defeated shortly after that by the AOP. I mean, obviously a dominant tag team, so two on one. Heck, two on two is hard enough to take him on, so two on one was about impossible for Andrade. O'Reilly fighting back. O'Reilly fighting back, fish crawling over the corner, and Acom does not allow it. Acom doesn't allow it. He tried to take O'Reilly off the apron. Fish was crawling to the corner trying to make a hot tag, but he stopped him in his track center of the ring. Ooh, man. Just dominating Fish right now. Tag made. Bizarre coming back in. Looking for maybe the assisted power bomb. And that could do it. Oh, that could do it if he can get a pinfall attempt here. There it is. That could be over. AOP could retain right here. Two. No. Fish gets out of it. Bobby Fish stays alive. And ooh. The big lariat again. The fish back to his feet. Oh, no. Takedown from Bobby Fish. Fish is now on top of the match. Back into his corner. The referee's down yet again. He figured he'd get the hell out of the way eventually, but oh my, look at the belly to belly overhead. Suplex from Fish. This man possesses so much more strength than you expect, and now taunting Akam over in the corner before punching him off, off the apron. Can the air get the win? He might be looking to do, yes, throwing him into the corner. See if they can get some tag team offense in, maybe get the win, get the win right here. Here we go. High, low, yes! It's over. It's over. Kyle O'Reilly with a pinfall. And Akam's in the ring. Oh, no. Akam breaks it up. And Bullfish just couldn't get there in time to stop him. And now O'Reilly looking for the ankle lock. Ankle lock on Rizar. Ankle lock from O'Reilly. It could be over. No, Akam again puts an end to it. A great tag team from AOP. As the Undisputed Era had it won. I thought they had it won. Acom came in twice and stopped it. Two of the best tag teams around. And now O'Reilly making the tag to Fish. Looking to end it, and boom, my goodness. Go for the cover. Go for the cover. He's going to go take Akam off. There it is. Going for the cover. And the Undisputed Era could become your new tag team champions. No. No, Razar gets out of it yet again. Yet again, he kicks out at two. And, ooh. German suplex. Fish has been dominant. Fish has been absolutely dominant. O'Reilly is out of it over there. Fish went to make a tag. O'Reilly didn't know where he was. And boom, big Larry. Fish went to make a tag. O'Reilly wasn't ready for it. And now Rizar is dominant. Ooh, spearing O'Reilly off the apron. O'Reilly was already out of it. And now, down on the ground, Fish is by himself in the ring with these two monster, monstrous men. And here, this can be it, the last chapter. 
And that is all she wrote. AOP is going to retain the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Great tag team match. Undisputed era. Had it won a couple of times, but Akam snuck in and broke it up. Rizar kicked out. And a massively major point in the match. And just like that, AOP still undefeated in the tag team ranks and are still the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Adam Cole and Strong were hoping that their stable mates could bring home the gold because they're going to go into that Elimination Chamber match later on. And one of them could be walking out WWE Champion. Mr. Money in the Bank. Styles wants, says that the OC are going to have all three championships, tag team and the WWE or Universal Championships. And there you see the Dusty Classic. And those two matchups start on Raw. And Aleister Black now making his way to take on the legend, the Hall of Famer. Goldberg. Alistair Black called out Goldberg back at Money in the Bank. Fed up with legends coming back. Part-timers coming back. Taking up the limelight. Black has not had a match yet on the main roster to take on Goldberg here. It's going to be quite the task. Multiple time champion. Still a dominant force to this day. Black has all the tools to become a future champion and future Hall of Famer. This would be a huge step in the right direction if he could take out Bill Goldberg. As he waits in the ring, as my son would say, crisscross applesauce. Center of the ring. Black is one of those guys that we just love to watch in the ring. Very mysterious. Very gifted. And now he awaits Bill Goldberg. Goldberg came back looking for a fight. He wants a championship match. He wanted Kevin Owens. Ended up picking a fight with The Miz. And absolutely decimated The Miz at Money in the Bank. Now it's SummerSlam. He's got black. Gold 
Goldberg making his way into the ring to take on the Dutch destroyer Alistair Black. Goldberg defeated the Miz. Wanted, to, wanted Kevin Owens. Alistair Black came out and said, absolutely not. I'm going to take you out before you get another WWE Championship opportunity. And here we are. SummerSlam. Goldberg looking to destroy the man standing in his way. And here we go, underway at SummerSlam. Goldberg, big clothesline into the corner right away. Big clothesline from Goldberg. Now stop it at the midsection of Black, the chest. And Black's down just like that on the ground. Kicks from Goldberg and now lifting him up. And just tossing Alistair Black across the ring. Black may have bit off more than he could chew. As Goldberg's just tossing him again. Set up at the corner, looking for a spear early. Looking for a spear early from Goldberg. And Goldberg hits the spear on Black. Looking to end it with a jackhammer. As Black slowly gets to his feet. No counter from Black. Counter from Black. Now Black throwing Goldberg into the corner. Back onto the ground. And now Black with a nice moonsault to Goldberg. Now Black might be setting up for the Black Mass. Might be setting up for the Black Mass. And Goldberg catches it and tosses Black down center of the ring. Now picking him back up. Picking him right back up. Just to destroy him with this pump handle over the head throw. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you the strength this man still possesses today is unbelievable. Into the corner, massive clothesline in black. Has been absolutely dominated so far. Another spear from Goldberg. And boom, my goodness. Alistair Black could be done. He could be done just like that. As Goldberg looks to set up. Once again for the jackhammer. No, Black dodges again. Black dodges again. Black Mass! Yes, Black Mass! And it's over. It's over. Alistair Black. Black Mass to Goldberg. And no! Goldberg kicks out at two and three quarter. Alistair Black can't believe it. Can't believe it. Now some knee strikes, kicks, elbows, everything you can throw at Goldberg. Look at these strikes from the Dutch Destroyer. More elbows and kicks and knees and oh my, Goldberg still on his feet. Now running in, knee to the midsection. Doesn't phase Goldberg. Kick to the midsection, now pump, handle, slam from Goldberg. And he is ecstatic. Alistair Black just threw everything. And he could have Goldberg away to counter. Countered from Black into the corner. Goes Goldberg down onto his butt. Rear end in the corner. No, man. Alistair Black now in control. In command of the match. Oh, he's going up to the top rope. Going up to the top rope. Goldberg down and a big. No. No, went for the double stop. And a boot from Goldberg to Black. And now another punt. Oh my goodness, Goldberg is just tossing Black around. Tossing Black around. Taking his time now. Getting Black back to his feet into the corner. And going for a close, no, no, Black dodges it. Black dodges it. And Black Mass again! Second Black Mass of the match. Black Mass from Alistair. Gets him right back up to his feet. And a third black mass. And that should do it for the legend. The Hall of Famer Goldberg has been destroyed. I can't believe what I just saw. Goldberg defeated by Alistair Black. 
in his debut. In the middle of the match, there was that section. Black threw about 20 kicks, knees, punches, elbow strikes to Goldberg and did not phase him. But Black had just enough to hit three black masses and put away the Hall of Famer. But don't forget the Universal Championship match tonight. McIntyre, Lesnar. Our Elimination Chamber match that we have been talking about all night. And up next, Raw Women's Championship on the line. The Raw Women's Championship up for grabs as the boss, Sasha Banks, gets her first crack at Becky Lynch here on Monday Night Raw at SummerSlam. Becky Lynch has been a dominant champion. She did, however, lose to Kyrie Sane a few months ago. But then she won her championship back from Sane and has not given it back up. Now, her and Sane have not had that last battle. I'm looking forward to that last battle. Sane defeated Becky to take the title. Becky defeated Sane to take the title back. So they've got to go at it one more time to settle over who's the better champion. But Sasha Banks is here awaiting the Raw Women's Champion, Becky Lynch. Last month on Money in the Bank, Lynch defeated Nia Jax. And it was... You know, okay, it was by a roll-up. All right, roll-up pin for the win. Either way, it doesn't matter. She got the win. There were some distractions, some shenanigans going on, but Nia Jax got distracted by her friend Vega getting tossed out. While that was happening, Lynch rolled her up and got the one, two, three. It was over, retaining the championship, avoiding having to actually go face to face with Jax the whole match, but it was Jax's own fault. And now we got Banks and Becky Lynch. Should be a great battle here at SummerSlam. SmackDown Women's Championship later is a fatal four-way. Baszler is the women's champion over there. And here we go. There it is, the Raw Women's Championship. Banks, Lynch. Let's do it. Collar and elbow tie up. Banks back and Lynch back into the corner. Referee's got to break it up here. And clean break. Clean break. And now Banks is celebrating a little too early. Solid right from Lynch. Dodge by Banks out to the apron. Banks now off the ropes and Spears Lynch off the apron. And now taunting in the ring. Sasha Banks looking to get her hands on that championship. Now celebrating out on the apron, taunting, celebrating. Banks needs to get focused. As Lynch now taking a control again, but now Banks again with a counter. These two women back and forth so far. And nice Hurricane Rana from Sasha Banks. Off the ropes and a nice Enzigiri from Sasha. Champ is down. The champ is down. And now catches the foot, but a nice, another insecurity by the challenger. Oh man, nice submission hold here from Banks. Let's see if she can hold it for a while. No, Becky countered right on top of her. Banks uh, broke free real quick. Takedown from Sasha. 
Kick to the back. Now just kicking the dirt into the face of Lynch off the ropes. Goes for a kick. Lynch dodges. Drop kick, though, from Banks. Banks and Bailey have been feuding for a while. Bailey defeated Banks in a backstage uh, false count anywhere match. It was supposed to be just a false count anywhere match. Bailey actually attacked her and put her through a table before the match was supposed to begin. And they counted the match as kick out there from Lynch. They started the match right there, even though Banks just went through a table. And she fought valiantly, a hard-fought battle in the backstage area, and Bailey ended up picking up the win. That was a couple of months ago now. And, oh, sleeper hole. Sleeper hole from Becky. And Banks grabs the ropes to get out of it. Leg drop. Going for a second. Leg drop, and it connects. Uppercut taking her down. Lynch, again, a dominant champion so far. Ooh, exploder from Becky Lynch. Dragging Banks into the center of the ring, going for the pinfall. She might have it here. Two, no, Lynch can't get it done. Oh, no, disarm her. Disarm her. Banks is in a lot of trouble as Becky locked in to disarm her and Banks gets out of it. Good counter from Sasha. Now Lynch, no, Banks counter. Close line. Two of the best women's performers in wrestling today. Becky again with a unique offense. Reverse DDT there. Pinfall. Can she put Banks away? Kick out again by Sasha. It'll be a huge win here if Banks can get it. And counter, looking for the disarmer, I believe. Drop to a hold from Banks. We've had two title matches so far tonight. Tommaso, oh, roll up, roll up, hold on, hold on. Banks looking to steal one. No, Lynch gets out of it again. And going for the Hurricane Rana, but Lynch counters. Bottom rope, hanging her up. Dragging her out. One, two, and oh, kick out again. We've had two championship matches already. United States Championship changed hands. Champa was 5 0 oh, coming into the match. Strowman ended up winning and taking the United States Championship away from Tommaso. AOP defended their SmackDown Tag Team Championships against the Undisputed Era in a hard-fought battle. Could have went either way at any point. And Goldberg lost to Aleister Black, the debuting Black. In a great little match. Black hit three Black Masses to put it away. Banks looking dominant now. And, oh, no. Oh, man. Backsploder into the corner. That's got to hurt. That's got to be it. And that should, no, one count. One count from Lynch to Banks after the Backsploder. And now Eric and Rana, beautiful by Sasha. Into the center of the ring. And she's looking to maybe set up 
for the bank statement. And yes, there's the backstabber into the bank statement. Yes, she's got it locked in. No, Becky, her foot was underneath the rope. Underneath the rope and Banks looking to set up again. Setting up for it again. Backstabber flips her over. Here we go. Bank statement locked in. It's over. Becky Lynch is in deep trouble. Rolls through. Rolls through. One, two, and that could do it. No. Kick out from Sasha Banks. She had the bank statement locked in. Becky rolled it through. Almost had it one kick to the midsection from Becky. I thought Becky was done with that bank statement. Rolled through into a pinning predicament. And Banks got out of it just barely. Ooh, double knee drop to Becky Lynch. Kick out again from Becky. The Raw Women's Champion still alive. And now the boss. Stalking. Lynch. Backstabber. And she's too close to the ropes. Too close to the ropes. Sasha was not in a good position for that move. Picking her back up now. Sasha twice now. Costing herself a huge opportunity getting that bank statement locked in. But it was underneath the rope. As Lynch automatically got a rope break twice. And now she's heating up with a couple of clotheslines. And misses with a drop kick. Now Becky standing over top of Sasha. Both women face to face. Now Beck Sploder again. Third one of the match. Third Beck Sploder of the match. And Becky Lynch. Looking to retain her Raw Women's Championship right now. Banks stays in it yet again. And now, oh no, disarm her. Disarm her from Lynch. And they're, they're going back and forth. Okay, Banks gets out of it. Banks just shoving Becky off pretty quickly there. Chop to the chest of Lynch. And now, nice scoop slam. From the boss. Kick to the midsection. Blocked. Beautiful spinning heel kick from Becky Lynch. Counter there from Banks. And no, no, she couldn't do it again. Couldn't do it again. Becky Lynch has it locked in. The disarmor. Disarm her and it's over. It is all over the Raw Women's Championship. Remains with Becky Lynch. What a battle. Sasha Banks. Had an opportunity. A couple of opportunities with his bank statements. But she got it locked in and Lynch's foot was underneath the rope twice. That's got to hurt. She could have had one of those, one of those bank statements. Could have been it. She did lock in one for a significant amount of time. Becky rolled it through into a pinning predicament. And luckily, Banks got out of that one, but she couldn't get out of the third disarmor. And Lynch is walking home. Still Raw Women's Champion. Who is going to step up to defeat? to challenge, to fight Becky Lynch. Wow, Roman Reigns announces that he's one of the first two guys in the Elimination Chamber match as Daniel Bryan paces back and forth backstage. We've got a hell of an Intercontinental Championship match. As Shinsuke Nakamura, the King of Strong Style, 
dances his way down the ramp. One of the, one of the most, just, I have a great time watching Shinsuke wrestle. It's just fun. You know what I mean? You guys know what I mean. It's fun to watch Shinsuke wrestle. The man is absolutely amazing. And he's going to take on Andrade. Andrade is undefeated in singles action on SmackDown. Defeating The Miz for the Intercontinental Championship a few months ago. Had a few title defenses so far. Including matches against Baron Corbin and Randy Orton. But now Shinsuke Nakamura. We're looking to put up a good fight against the IC champ. And there he is, Andrade. Again, like I said, undefeated in singles action. The only loss he has was when Kevin Owens bailed on him in that tag team matchup and AOP picked apart Andrade. And that was his only loss. Nothing to be ashamed of. Pretty much a one-on-two handicap match against the SmackDown Tag Team Champions who are also unbeaten. Nakamura's had a couple of matches on SmackDown. And he earned his opportunity here to fight Andrade for this Intercontinental Championship at SummerSlam. Nakamura, Andrade, we're ready to go. Meeting in the middle of the ring, Andrade immediately picks Shinsuke up and hits a nice Falcon arrow to the challenger who hits a right hand to the midsection and now looking to hit something back of his own on shoulders. <laughs> My God, these guys are just trading moves. And not even a one count as the Intercontinental Champion gets kneed right in the gut down to the ground. Kick now from Shinsuke, the king of strong style. As Andrade, no, going for the roll up here, going for the attempt. Shinsuke, no, not enough. Now, Andrade looking to take a pinfall here and a rope break incoming from Shinsuke. Way too close to the ropes. Pretty early on here, too. Nakamura is a strong challenger. Closed line from the champion. Andrade now throwing. Oh, man. Absolute beautiful German suplex from Andrade. Throwing Nakamura into the ropes. And as he came back, hit that German. Now these elbows to the face of Shinsuke. Right back on top there with Shinsuke. And, oh, man. Come on, Shinsuke Nakamura is telling Andrade to bring it on as Andrade throws him over the, to the apron. Punch to the face and now looking for that draping DDT. Andrade hits the DDT on Shinsuke. Into the corner and goes the challenger. 
kick into the midsection and now rolls into it right into front of Shinsuke into that corner taunting Nakamura before he hits this double knees taunts him and then hits the double knees now going for the pinfall and Nakamura stays in it Andrade looking to set up for the hammerlock DDT here and countered from Shinsuke. Going for that pinfall again. Pinfall attempt and a one count this time from Shinsuke. Knee right to the back. And Andrade, the IC champ, back on top. Down a solid right hand. And a right elbow now. The strikes from Nakamura. Taking Andrade down, who wisely rolls out to the apron as Shinsuke meets him over there. Now, what's Nakamura got here? It looks like a back body drop on the apron. Yes. Back body drop on the apron from Nakamura. This is a big time Intercontinental Championship match as Andrade is bringing the prestige back to the championship as an undefeated champion. Taking the title off the Miz. And putting up battles against Baron Corbin, Randy Orton, and others. Now Nakamura's turn to try to take the championship away. I like, I like the fight that Andrade shows as the champ and now hanging up on that top rope. One count from Nakamura. Down to the midsection and Shinsuke is on top of the champ. Into the corner, just to taunt Andrade, who's getting back to his feet, going for a, oh no, going for a scoop slam. Kick to the back of the leg, and now Shinsuke back to, pushes Andrade away. Into the corner face first, goes Andrade elbow to the face on Nakamura. Now a few of those, three or four of them. And Andrade now looking for maybe the power bomb, set out power bomb. Andrade going for the pinfall. And another rope break from Shinsuke. Andrade now into the corner. Shinsuke slow to get up. Dazed and confused. The cartwheel Pele from Andrade. I'm sure it has a name that I can't remember. It's not over there. Not over yet. Beautiful move there from Andrade. And now a punch in the gut from Shinsuke. Three of them. Hanging up on that top rope. Nakamura counters big clothesline. Now setting up. He's looking for the Kinshasa. Possibly looking for the Kinshasa. Kick to the midsection. There it is. There it is. Yes, he hits it. He hits it. Do we have a new IC champ? New Intercontinental Champion. Dragging him to the center of the ring to get a pinfall attempt. And Shinsuke Nakamura is going to become your new no. Andrade barely gets the shoulder up Shinsuke's tank. Telling the referee that was a three count. Shinsuke looking to set up again. And a second, Kinshasa. And I'm afraid to say, but I think Andrade could be done as Intercontinental Champion, yes. 
Shinsuke Nakamura. Very well earned Intercontinental Championship title. What a hell of a fight and a win from Nakamura. Andrade with a lot of great offense. Couldn't hit the hammerlock DDT when he attempted it. And Shinsuke. Two Kinshasa's later. It's your new Intercontinental Championship. Second title switch of the night. As Champa lost to Braun Strowman in the first match of the evening. But let's celebrate the King of Strong Style in his brand new championship. Where does Andrade go from here? Roman and Joe backstage talking strategy for this Elimination Chamber match where Roman will be one of the first two in. It's time for John Cena to take on The Fiend. Cena returned, looking to earn another opportunity. He was trying to earn a shot into the Money in the Bank ladder match. He was attacked by someone that nobody knew who it was. And now we know it is the Fiend Bray Wyatt, who had been tormenting Cena over the last number of weeks. John Cena wants the Fiend here at SummerSlam. It'll be the in-ring debut of Bray Wyatt, the Fiend Bray Wyatt. Cena running the ropes, throwing his hat into the crowd. Classic John Cena. Does he have what it takes to defeat a man that nobody's seen? Firefly Funhouse video plan. The fiend Bray Wyatt. Very creepy individual holding a lantern of a replica head of Bray Wyatt. What a sick, sadistic human being. Or is it a human being? He's a fiend. We don't know what happened to Bray Wyatt. John Cena thinks it's just a man in a mask. He thinks he'll put him away just like he did a few years ago. But I see something different in Bray Wyatt now. This isn't just Bray Wyatt. This is a sadistic human being. And I think he'll go as far as he needs to go to take out John Cena. As he puts that lantern head on the apron and stares at the hurt and heel gloves. He makes his way over towards the ring steps. 
What a creepy lantern. Absolutely creepy. The Fiend now in the ring. John Cena. You know John Cena's not going to back down. And Cena and the Fiend meet in the center of the ring. Cena mocking Bray Wyatt. The Fiend says, you get a punch. You get a first free blow. Cena's throwing haymakers. And now the Fiend with one right back and then grabs him by the throat. And headbutts Cena to the ground. He lets Cena get back to his feet. And gives him another punch, and Cena takes him down. Cena takes the Fiend off his feet, setting up for the attitude adjustment. Attitude adjustment incoming, no counter from Wyatt. And now the Fiend hits a Uranagi to John Cena. Into the corner. Now Cena back to his feet. The Fiend is just standing there letting him throw blows. And Cena's going for that springboard. Stunner, yes! Stunner from Cena. The Fiend is down. Setting up for the AA again. Setting up for the attitude adjustment on The Fiend. And again, counter kick to the midsection. And again, a Uranagi from The Fiend. Who is now picking up the pace. He's done toying around with John Cena, just throwing him. Absolutely throwing John Cena from one end of the ring to the other. Oh my God, that running takedown. And now, looks as if he's asking the crowd if they're entertained. He pulls Cena back up to his feet. And Sister Abigail. Sister Abigail from The Fiend. He let Cena have a bunch of free shots, but he countered his attitude adjustment twice. And, oh no, Mandible Claw. Mandible Claw to Cena. And just slams his head into the mat. The Fiend is sadistic. Picking Cena back up, the lifeless corpse of Cena. And now, Mandible Claw, and now Cena is passed out. And here's your winner. Just like that. The Fiend has defeated John Cena. Sister Abigail. Mandible Claw. And then makes him pass out with another Mandible Claw. And the Fiend is not here to mess around. Absolute monster. And who knows when we'll see John Cena again or even the Fiend. Fiend showed up and put away John Cena. Maybe his agenda is complete. We'll find out. Don't forget the Raw Tag Team Championship Dusty Classic Tournament. Starting on Monday Night Raw, Raiders and OC will go at it. And the debuting Mustache Mountain will take on the New Day in two first round matchups. Our main event, the Elimination Chamber match tonight still to come. And the Universal Championship will be on the line as well.
Styles, Mr. Money Bank. Telling Owens he could cash in on him. Now it's time for the women's fatal four-way match for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Sonya Deville already stepping foot in the ring. She had an amazing showing in the Money in the Bank match, the briefcase match. There were three or four times that we all thought she was going to grab it and get the win. Every time somebody else was just there to take her down. And here comes the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. She fought Shayna Baszler at Money in the Bank. Charlotte Flair got involved after winning the Money in the Bank contract. And do remember, she does have that Money in the Bank briefcase. And we could see it here tonight. Charlotte Flair was the last woman to make sure Sonya Deville didn't win. R Rhea Ripley was actually coming back into the ring to stop. Charlotte Flair. But uh, Natalia, who wasn't in the matchup, was upset because Ripley had beaten her. She came down, put her in the sharpshooter, and it allowed Charlotte Flair to pick up the win. And Shanna Baszler is the women's champion, and she's got to watch out. She's got this fatal four way match. She doesn't even have to be pinned to lose. And then Charlotte Flair, even if Baszler does somehow retain, Flair could just come out, cash in, and get the win. And take the SmackDown Women's Championship from her. Ember Moon, another exciting wrestler, getting her opportunity here at Baszler SmackDown Women's Championship. As all three of these women await, the Queen of Spades is Shayna Baszler. She is an absolute nightmare of a woman to be in the ring with. Tear you apart limb by limb. Care if you had a clutch is her go-to move. If she locks that in on it, it's over. So this is just a four-way match, fatal four-way. One woman needs to get the pinfall or submission victory. So, for instance, if Ember Moon pinned Sony Deville, Ember Moon would be the champ. If Shayna Baszler pinned anybody, she would remain the champ. But if she does not get the pinfall or submission victory, she will lose her championship even if she's not involved in the final outcome of the match. Here we go. Sonya Deville getting her first chance in the SmackDown Women's Championship. Asuka getting her second chance after the Money in the Bank mishap. Ember Moon getting her second chance after losing to Charlotte Flair a couple of months ago who when she was the SmackDown Women's Champion. And as Baszler and Sonya Deville go on at it, Moon and Asuka spear over there from Shayna Baszler. Ember Moon is on top of Asuka. Now a sliding takedown from Deville. Moon tossing Oscar out to the outside. Referee's down because the referee's always down in this game. Big takedown from Baszler, the champion. Now a kick in the midsection from Oscar on the outside. Nice drop kick from the Empress of Tomorrow. And the Queen of Spades just hanging. Sonya Deville up on that top rope and throwing knees right in the face. Four of them. And now Deville's outside the ring. Moon getting tossed around by Oscar. A nice, solid roundhouse kick from Baszler to the face of Sonny Deville. That's a matchup I'd like to see, a one-on-one -on -one match. Deville 
and Basil. Two MMA fighters. Sonny Deville, a dangerous woman. Not a lot of people really give her the opportunity. And now Oscar spinning back his fist to Moon doing phaser. Now Moon with a nice move to Oscar in the ring as Baszler is dominating Sonny Deville. Referee count and Moon one count and now Baszler was heading back in to break it up, so Sonny Deville is now back to the feet and going to take a shot at Baszler, but ends up hitting Moon. And now she's got Oscar. Oscar, Deville, and Baszler and Moon. Meets right to the face of Ember Moon. And, oh, one more for good measure as Sonny Deville throwing some kicks of her own into the corner of Oscar. Baszler looking for maybe a vertical suplex on Moon from the apron back into the center of the ring. Deville stalking both women as Ember Moon has a drop kick. And now Deville with these gut punches to Ember Moon, who falls down to the mat. Oscar back to the feet. Moon counters. Off the ropes, and Moon with a nice drop kick to Sony Deville. Going for the pinfall. The referees count, one count. Going to the outside, Baszler taking Oscar out. Deville's got a nice arm bar. On Ember Moon. And Moon is struggling in the center. Or not in the center, right? Towards the corner of the ring. She's close to the ropes, and now she's going to escape. Going to escape the move from Sonya Deville, a unique offensive maneuver to take out the arm of Ember Moon. And Moon now counters it. Oh, man. Going for that pinfall doesn't get it. Sonya Deville is getting dominated by Ember Moon now. Shayna Baszler and Oscar going at it. Oscar now. What a beautiful suplex from Oscar. Ember Moon looking to steal one here on Sonya Deville. And Oscar and Deville. I think Oscar did not get there in time. Deville did kick at it too. And oh, beautiful. Moon in a German suplex from Oscar. Deville rolls to the outside of the ring, kicking midsection from Moon, double underhook. Nice suplex again from Moon. Oscar now just patiently waiting while Ember Moon is dominating the matchup. Oscar picked her time and now just kicking the hell out of Ember Moon. Sony Deville back into the ring. Punch to the back and a nice into Gary block from Sony. Oscar looking for the Oscar lock. Oscar lock locked in, but Sony Deville's right there to break it up. Oscar going for the pinfall attempt, and Sony again there to break up that. Oscar now. Suplex to the bill. Elbow to the leg of Oscar. Now the bill with a nice move to take down Oscar as Moon just throws Baza. Overhead tossing her halfway across the ring. And now the bill and Moon dominating Shanna Baza. Kick to the face, and it could be it. Moon's right there, though. Moon's going to break it up, yeah. The roundhouse kick from Sonny Deville. Into the corner goes Sonny Deville. And the Moon now tossing her around the ring. Nice hip attack 
from Oscar. Ember Moon's trying to steal it. Oscar breaks it up. Moon trying to break and steal the, the victory there from Oscar. As now Baszler gets tossed into the corner from Deville. Ember Moon with a. Ember Moon was looking to win it with a submission there. Oscar and Baszler broke it up there. Deville's in the corner. And Oscar looking for the Oscar lock again. Baszler standing right there over the top to break it up. And Deville now. Deville with a submission move. Submission move to Shayna Baszler. And Oscar's right there to help break it up. And now Baszler throwing punches to Sony to those face. Getting out of it. A couple of closed lines from Oscar. And now a kick. Super kick from Oscar. Uh oh. We're in trouble now. Hip attack from Oscar to Baszler. Oscar can become the women's champion right now. 2 0. Baszler gets out. Sonny Deville's down in the corner. Ember Moon rolled outside the ring. Baszler and Oscar, only two women on their feet. Baszler kicked to the midsection. Uh oh. Uh oh. She's in trouble. Kara Fu to clutch. Kara Fu to clutch. Sonny Deville's out of it. Sonny Deville's out of it. Kara Fu to clutch to Oscar, and it's over. Shayna Baszler retains. DeVille was a half second late to break it up. What a matchup. Sonya DeVille could not get there in time to break up the pinfall as Shayna Baszler makes Asuka tap out. Oscar hit the hip attack. It wasn't enough. Up next is the Universal Championship match. The Beast. Brock Lesnar defeated Bobby Lashley at Money in the Bank to earn this opportunity. It was between those two men the winner went on to SummerSlam, and, and Brock Lesnar pulled off a win in the end. Him and Bobby Lashley went to battle. Those two men beat the absolute hell out of each other. In the end, the Beast moved on to SummerSlam, and he's going to take on the Universal Champion, Drew McIntyre. McIntyre won the championship back at Night of Champions. Defended it at Money in the Bank against Rollins. And who was the man who took it from as well? Now looking to defend against Brock Lesnar. Just like the women's match we just saw, I mentioned sure that Flair had the Money in the Bank briefcase. AJ Styles has the men's briefcase here. He told Kevin Owens backstage that he might cash it in on him. Or whoever wins the Elimination Chamber match, because it could be one of six men. The Beast now awaits the Scottish Psychopath. Drew McIntyre is undefeated on Monday Night Raw. Started off by beating Cesaro in the debut show. Won a few more matches to earn the opportunity to take on Seth Rollins. And then he put Seth Rollins away at Night of Champions. Money in the Bank. He took on Rollins, but Rollins had Jackson Riker. He recruited him to help him try to get the championship back. He had Riker there, and it still wasn't enough. McIntyre, Claymore, and Future Shock DDT'd Riker on the ramp and sent him packing before hitting a Claymore on Rollins and putting it away.
big task at hand for the Universal Champion. Has not lost on Monday Night Raw. Defeated Keith Lee as well. Keith Lee came up. And McIntyre said, I want a fight. Keith Lee said, I, I'll give you a fight. They had a hell of a battle with two big men. Drew McIntyre won in the end and then shook the hand of Keith Lee. And this is it. One of our two main events. The Universal Championship. On the line, Brock Lesnar. Drew McIntyre. Lesnar and McIntyre meet inside of the ring. Hey, oh my gosh, F5, F5 right away. No, McIntyre gets out of it. Caught me off guard. Went straight to the center of the ring, and I thought, the Ma oh man, McIntyre's going to make him submit right here. McIntyre's going to get the win. And Lesnar fighting out of it. Bunch of the midsection. Going for the F5. 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 Oh no. Oh no. F5 from Lesnar. And he's stalking McIntyre. Looking to hit another one, but now McIntyre counters. One at five. Wasn't going to get the job done. And Glasgow kiss. Lesnar knew one at five wasn't going to be it. And now a Claymore kick from the Universal Champion. And he knows one Claymore is not going to put Lesnar down. And a second one, no, dodged by Lesnar. Dodged by Lesnar, who picks up the Universal Champion and slams him down. What a back and forth to start. German suplex release German from Lesnar. Release German from Lesnar. Going for another one, second German. You got your signs out in the crowd or what? Two Germans so far. Oh, third one incoming. Third German suplex from the Beast. Who is just manhandling the Universal Champion right now. And there's four going for number five. Holding on again. And number six from Brock Lesnar. Now setting up for the F5 again. Gets him up on his shoulders, F5 income. No, no elbows to the face. Elbows to the face, McIntyre. Looking for a roll up, looking for the roll up. This could be it, this could be it. One, two, and McIntyre, no. Lesnar gets at it too. McIntyre tried to steal one. Goes for a shoulder tackle, ends up hitting a clothesline instead. Lesnar crawling to the ropes. Wait a minute, what's McIntyre got in mind? Oh my god. The revert, the Alabama slam face first goes Lesnar. Oh my god. And now McIntyre, Claymore kick, busted Lesnar wide open. And that is all she wrote, Drew McIntyre. Remains the Universal Champion. A quick fight. Six German suplexes from Lesnar. One F5 early on, wanted to go for a second one. Countered by McIntyre, hit a Claymore. Went for a second one, countered by Lesnar. Hit those Germans, then McIntyre hit the Claymore kick after that massive Alabama slam. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Lesnar's got McIntyre up. F5 to Drew, F5 to McIntyre. Brock Lesnar is a sore loser. The hell is this about? McIntyre just won fair and square, defeating Brock Lesnar. And Lesnar snapped. He's taking the, oh my. Getting the announce table ready. He's tearing up the announce table. What the hell, Brock? 
Brock Lesnar is just destroying Drew McIntyre after McIntyre defended the Universal Championship, but now he's got him up on the table. He's got him up on the table. Lesnar looking to put an F5 in. Yes, F5 to Drew McIntyre through the table. And Lesnar has decimated him. But up next is our main event. And oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's AJ Styles. He's cashing in. McIntyre's down. Styles just handed the money in the bank briefcase over. He handed the briefcase over. And McIntyre's out of it. He just took an F5, another F5, and an F5 through a table. And Styles cashed in the money in the bank. He cashed it in. This is official. This is official. Styles clash. Styles Clash from AJ. Oh no, is AJ Styles gonna steal the Universal? Jay did. AJ Styles defeated Drew McIntyre. Wow. Styles just stole the Universal Championship from Drew McIntyre. I can't believe what I just saw, McIntyre just defended against Lesnar. Lesnar snapped, pulled him through the announce table with an F5. After hitting one in the ring, Styles won. Styles clash, and it's over. So here we go. It is elimination chamber time. Here at SummerSlam, the main event. WWE Championship on the line. Adam Cole, first man to get inside the chamber. I'm gonna be locked in a pod, waiting to see what number he comes out at. We already know Roman Reigns is starting the match off. And here's his buddy, part of the Samoan Empire, Samoa Joe. If those two men can get on top, if they can get in there together, it would be great for the Simone Empire, but that's the same for the Undisputed Era. If Strong and Cole can be in at the same time, that could be huge as Daniel Bryan now makes his way down. Daniel Bryan and Roman Reigns have had some bad blood. Over the last couple of months, Roman took him out of action for a month at Night of Champions by putting his head against the ring post and just kicking it as hard as he could. Took him out of action for a month. And now Brian, after Roman speared strong last month at Money in the Bank during the match against Kevin Owens, Brian came out and absolutely beat the hell out of Roman Reigns, but KO still got the win. That's why he's WWE Champion today. Strong was the man who took the championship off of Roman Reigns. So if you're looking at it in order, Roman was defending the title for months. Strong came and beat him clean. And then Strong lost to Kevin Owens. Thanks to Roman Reigns' spear. And... KO is now the champion. But Daniel Bryan was taken out by Roman Reigns. Adam Cole, Samoa Joe, part of this as well. And all six of these men have bad blood. The Rock decided it's time for an Elimination Chamber match to see who the true champion is. And we now know that Roderick Strong and Roman Reigns are going to be the two men to start this out as Strong awaits the man who cost him the championship. Roman Reigns was the man who cost Strong his WWE Championship. Couldn't take a loss. First man to beat Roman clean on SmackDown was Roderick Strong. And Roman Reigns did not like that. Daniel Bryan says he has claim to the championship as well. You know he's not going to give up. This match is about to get real, real fast. As Roman Reigns gets in and right back out. 
Strong awaits Roman Reigns. He's taking his sweet time. Oh, he's going to go up to the top and just... Wow. Roman Reigns is a cocky, arrogant son of a gun. Yeah, Strong still awaits. And Roman's giving away Strong's right there. Strong's right there. Looking for the backbreaker. Right off the bat, the match has started. Match has started. Strong is now... Picking a Roman up and another, oh my God. Roger Strong, the Messiah of the Backbreaker with a shoulder breaker right there. And now a power bomb. That was just absolutely beautiful. Roger Strong is dominating Roman Reigns, trying to get his hands on the man that cost him the championship. Another backbreaker going for the pinfall, trying to get him out early. Trying to get him out early with two, oh no, one count from Strong. Trying to take Roman out quickly. Roman stayed in it. Going up to the top rope is Roddy. Strong with a knee to the face of Roman from the top. Now takes him down. Going for the submission. Submission move from Roderick Strong. Looking to make Roman tap. Looking to make him suffer. And now Roman looking to roll through. And yes, Roman kicks him in the face. Huge flurry of offense right off the rip, but Roman Reigns now in control of Roderick Strong as he just shows. Look at the strength and power bomb from Roman. Solid right hand takes Strong back down to the mat. Oh man, that, it's like a Superman elbow. I don't know what the hell that was, but Roman Reigns is dominating. We're going to see here in seven seconds who is going to be the next man in as Roman is dominating Strong. I know Strong is hoping it's Adam Cole. And Strong's back on top at all. No, it's Samoa Joe. It's Roman Reigns. Buddy, his Samoan empire. As Roderick Strong is going to get rolled up. It's over for Roddy. One, two. Roderick Strong's going to be gone. No. Strong rolls back through. Rolls back through. One, two, three. Joe's gone. Joe's gone. Joe's gone. And Roman. Roman Reigns taking advantage. But Samoa Joe just got rolled up. He tried to roll up Strong immediately. And Strong reversed it into a roll-up of his own. And now Roman's picking apart Roddy, but Roddy got rid of a big, big threat within a matter of 10 seconds of Samoa Joe entering the match. Now he's just got to fend off Roman until Adam Cole gets out here. He just needs Adam Cole or Daniel Bryan. Honestly, Kevin Owens... I don't know how that would work. <laughs> I mean, if Kevin Owens came out, I guess since Roman helped KO, inadvertently helped him in that championship match at Money in the Bank, I guess maybe KO and Roman worked together to take out Strong. Who is doing a phenomenal job right now of picking apart Roman Reigns. Looking to make him tap. He already put out Samoa Joe. He already got Samoa Joe out of the match, but Roman is too strong. Too strong for Roddy Strong. Big upper cut takes him down. We are going to find out who the fourth man in the match is as Roman is now on top of Strong yet again. Could it be Cole? It is Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan is entering the match. And Roman Reigns, big boot to Bryan right away. These two men absolutely hate each other. Absolutely hate each other. Roman's throwing Bryan out to the outside. He sees Strong in the corner still. Those two men don't like each other either. None of these guys like each other. <laughs> Roddy and Adam Cole are probably the only two that like each other. Since Samoa Joe was rolled up instantly. He tried to roll up strong, strong, reversed it and took Joe out immediately. 
Now Bryant on top of Roman. Roman counters headbutt. Headbutt into the corner goes Bryant. Down to the mat with that uppercut. But now Roderick Strong roll up. Roll up attempt. Roll up attempt. Can he take out Roman? Can he take out Roman right here? And no, Roman kicks out. Kick out by Roman Reigns at two. And another backbreaker from the Messiah of the backbreaker. Daniel Bryan stomping on the arm. Could have broken Roman Reigns' arm. He wouldn't give a shit if he broke Roman Reigns' arm. After what Roman did to him just a couple of months ago. And Bryan looking for a suplex, but Roman too strong, too powerful. Just tossing Daniel Bryan around. Just tossing Brian around. But this is like a two-on-one right now. And Roderick Strong is looking to put away Roman. It's a two-on-one for Roman Reigns. And yes, end of heartache. End of heartache from Roderick Strong. The two-on-one has gotten to Roman Reigns. Yes, Roman Reigns is gone. Just like that, the Samoan Empire are out of the Elimination Chamber match. And Adam Cole's in. This is good news for the Undisputed Era. Now they have two-on-one advantage on Daniel Bryan for the next couple of minutes as Adam Cole is now picking apart Bryan. I cannot believe Roderick Strong took out both members of the Samoan Empire. That is our former WWE Champion. He is a hell of a wrestler, a hell of a fighter. And my God, does he like to break backs. As the Undisputed Era are picking apart Daniel Bryan right now. Adam Cole going for a pinfall attempt, and Brian's out of one. Brian counters. Counter and a running knee into the corner. That running kick to the face. Two of them. Adam Cole's busted open. Strong from behind. Brian didn't see him. Strong from behind. And now, no, Brian counters. Throwing strong to the outside. Daniel Bryan. Taking on both members of the era. Cole and Strong right now. Throwing Strong back into the ring. And now Cole from behind. Cole from behind on his shoulder. <laughs> Daniel Bryan with another reversal. Daniel Bryan with another reversal. Going for the pinfall on Cole. Cole's out at one. Kevin Owens is going to be the last man. The WWE Champion with the advantage. The because of the championship, I assume, or just the luck of the draw, I'm not sure, but KO coming out last. Immediately thrown to the outside. Immediately thrown to the outside. I'm sure he wouldn't mind taking a rest, but him and Strong have some unfinished business. Unfinished business with Strong and KO and Strong. I'm not even going to talk about what Strong was doing over there. But now Cole, KO. Brian and Strong, one of these four men, will leave as the WWE Champion. As we saw AJ Styles cash in on Drew McIntyre just a little bit ago. Kevin Owens throwing Strong to the outside, but Cole from the eye. Cole with a nice neck breaker to Kevin Owens. Now picking up Brian. Brian reverses. And Daniel Bryan with that reverse DDT. Another pinfall attempt on Cole. And Cole gets out at two. Roderick Strong and Kevin Owens on the outside. Hard to see from this camera angle. Suplex from Roddy. As Brian now throws Cole to the outside. Roderick Strong, the ooh, gut wrench suplex as Brian rolls up Cole. Rolling up Cole, Cole kicks out. 
Daniel Bryan with a hell of a fight so far. Roderick Strong was the first man in with Roman Reigns. Took out Samoa Joe and then took out Reigns. And now Daniel Bryan and Strong have been in the longest. Daniel Bryan has been absolutely dominant for the most part. Adam Cole and Strong, of course, members of the Undisputed Era. And Kevin Owens, WWE Champion. Ooh, Strong is against the pod. Cole just suplex Brian. Brian got right back up instantly. Scoop slam. I'm sure, sorry, it wasn't a suplex. And now Brian back into the ring. Cole sends him in. Now KO in. Strong's the only man on the outside. Suplex from Cole. Adam Cole. Uh oh. Uh oh. The WWE champion's in trouble. WWE Champions in trouble, last shot, last shot, and it's over for Kevin Owens, the WWE Champion, we're going to have a new one, we're going to have a new one, no, Kevin Owens gets out after the last shot, Kevin Owens kicked out, and Adam Cole's pissed, Adam Cole just suplexed the referee, Adam Cole just suplexed the referee for not counting three, And now Adam Cole. Oh, man. Dominating the WWE Champion. Daniel Bryan is dominating Roderick Strong. Bryan is exhausted. Bryan is exhausted. Going for a kick and Strong counters it. And a backbreaker from Roddy as Cole is over there. Taking apart. Oh, he's, he's got a submission move on Kevin Owens. And no, no, I'm not sure what was going on over there. He couldn't really see from between Strong and Brian. But either way, all four of these men are still in the matchup. Undisputed Era standing tall right now. Standing tall, Cole going for a pin. One count on the champ. Now Strong going for a pin. And a two count on Daniel Bryan. What a match. These four men have been in it for a while. Strong, the first man into the match. Bryan, the fourth man. Cole, the fifth. And KO, the sixth. Number two and three were eliminated already. And Brian looking to pin Strong, but Adam Cole saving the day for Roderick Strong. These two men are working as a team, as it should be. As it should be in this situation. Fight to the end and then fight each other one-on-one -on -one to see who the better man is. To see who the WWE Champion really is. They got to get there first. Daniel Bryan looking to put away Adam Cole. Strong looking for a night a roll up, roll up attempt, and no one count. Pinning predicament, only a one as Brian now patiently awaits and strong, beautiful. Plus Kevin Owens wide open. And, oh, a running knee to Cole, running knee to Cole, and strong busts it open. Breaks up the pinfall attempt is what I meant to say. Roderick Strong helping. His teammate, Cole, had helped him earlier. The Undisputed Era, great teamwork faction. As we did see earlier in the night, Fish and O'Reilly almost had it one against AOP in the SmackDown Championships. But AOP defeated him. Running knee! Running knee to Strong! Oh, no! Running knee to, Str or to Cole! To Cole! Cole kicks out! Cole kicks out, now Strong kicks out from a senton from KO to the top rope. My God, both members of the era almost got eliminated at the same time. Daniel Bryan sunset flip off the top rope. Two count and Strong is there again to break it up. 
And now Strong. Oh my god. Double underhook into the backbreaker. Cole sent to the outside. Strong now sent him Brian into the corner. Going for a running knee into the corner. Step up knee into the corner. Brian now counters. And Strong back on top. Couple of elbows and now off the ropes and a takedown with that lariat from Strong. Stunner! Stunner to Cole! Stunner to Cole! Is Cole gone? But now Strong's there again. Strong is there again. Roderick Strong has saved Adam Cole three times in the last couple of minutes. And now Brian face first. These men are exhausted. Only man standing right now is Strong, and he was the first one into this match. End of heartache to Daniel Bryan. It's all over for Bryan. Daniel Bryan's going to be gone to no. Daniel Bryan kicked out of the end of heartache. Daniel Bryan kicked out of the end of heartache. And Roderick Strong is just in shock, exhausted. Oh my, running elbow strike from Bryan. And now Kevin Owens on the outside, punch to the midsection to Cole. Thrown back into the ring, oh no, oh no. The yes lock from Daniel Bryan, and it's over for Roderick Strong. Roderick Strong is gone from the yes lock. The first man into the matchup took out Samoa Joe, took out Roman Reigns, but Daniel Bryan puts Roderick Strong down with the yes lock. One of these three men will leave as WWE Champion. Adam Cole, Kevin Owens, or Daniel Bryan. I'm not going to lie, Daniel Bryan versus Roger Strong in a one-on-one -on -one matchup sounds phenomenal after watching this two go at it this match. As Kevin Owens looking to put, put away Daniel Bryan. Looking to put away Daniel Bryan. No. No, one, one count. And KO's got Bryan. Up on his shoulder, Samoan drop as Adam Cole looks on. And Cole now, neck breaker from Cole to KO. What a match this has been. Adam Cole, Kevin Owens, Daniel Bryan, last three remaining. Cole setting up for something here, looking for the last shot, but KO countered it. Boom! KO countered on all no. Kevin Owens and Daniel Bryan are teaming up on Adam Cole. Cole dodges. Cole dodges. And oh no, Kevin Owens now. Looking for another. Ooh, a gut buster this time. Senton from Kevin Owens, the WWE champion. Daniel Bryan is just stalking Adam Cole. These two men. Brian and Kevin Owens have seemed to have formed a little bit of a pact. Oh, solid kick to the face. Takes Cole down. And now both men, Kevin Owens and Brian, are just over top of Cole. Trading off blows is the yes chance or a blaze here at SummerSlam in the Elimination Chamber match. Oh, wait. Kevin Owens turns his back on Brian. Gut Buster Senton from KO. Cole back to his feet. Cole's back to his feet and a stunner from Kevin Owens. Adam Cole is gone. It's down to Kevin Owens and Daniel Bryan. Kevin Owens and Bryan. Last two men remaining. And Bryan's setting up. Setting up for maybe the yes lock. Yes. Yes lock, yes lock. Daniel Bryan, look at him become champ. Look at him become WWE champion. Daniel Bryan is on top of Kevin Owens right now. Yes lock, 
locked in. KO's in trouble. He is going to tap to Daniel Bryan. No. Kevin Owens gets out of it. He doesn't want to lose that WWE Championship. Ooh, clubbing blows to the back as Bryan goes off the ropes three times and falls down. And just hammering away at Bryan. Bryan had the S-lock locked in. Kevin Owens got out of it. Running clothesline into that corner. Kevin Owens and Daniel Bryan teamed up to take out Adam Cole. And now they are doing battle. Beautiful move from Kevin Owens on the top rope. The athleticism of this man is phenomenal. Now looking for that Samoan drop. Kevin Owens is dominating Daniel Bryan right now. You can tell Bryan's exhausted. Look at that left hand. Solid left hand, but you can tell he's just slowed down so much. Dragging Kevin Owens to the center of the ring and stomping on the arm of KO. Into the corner and that running kick to the face. Looking for a second one. And the referee's glitching around. Second kick to the face from Daniel Bryan to the champ. Could we see a new WWE champion right now? Kevin Owens is down. Daniel Bryan looking to put an end to the reign of KO. Into the corner. Kick from Bryan. Kick from Bryan. And now he's just stopping on the chest of KO. And here we go. Yes, yes, yes kicks from Daniel Bryan. And the last one right to the face of Kevin Owens. Bryan is setting up for the S-lock. And it'll be all over. It'll be all over. Oh, massive clothesline from Kevin Owens. And oh, a stunner, a stunner. And just like that, Kevin Owens looks to retain. Just like that, and it's over. It's over. Kevin Owens is still your WWE Champion. What a hell of a match. Strong took out Samoa Joe, Roman Reigns, Daniel Bryan, then took out Roderick Strong. And then Kevin Owens and Daniel Bryan teamed up, and then KO took out Adam Cole. And then Daniel Bryan going for the S-lock, and KO countered into a stunner. Kevin Owens retains the WWE Championship in an absolute hell of a battle. What an Elimination Chamber match. What a night. Drew McIntyre defeated Brock Lesnar only to then lose to the Money in the Bank holder, AJ Styles. And now Styles is the new Universal Champion. Kevin Owens fought off five other guys in the Elimination Chamber match. And he walks away. Still your WWE Champion. Thank you guys for watching SummerSlam. Can't wait to see you on the Fallout on Monday Night Raw. Coming up soon. Thank you guys again. Take care.